Snap to object thing is a very useful thing on Illustrator and most of the times what happens with us with designers that we can't find this useful feature on Illustrator and it's a struggle to find it sometimes if there is a problem with the default settings. What's going on everybody? So this is Sri from Doodlistry and today we are going to talk about how to use that snap to object on Illustrator if you can't find it anywhere. So without adding further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. talk about how to snap to object on illustrator so this is a very useful thing to do and when you are uh, you, you know when you are working with multiple objects on illustrator for different purpose for the illustrations or for designing logos or any other stuffs then then the snap to object theme actually helps you a lot to do some you know like uh, basic calculations and uh, you know the intersection positions and other things so i'm going to show you that in mm, just a few minutes so first of all i will tell you like sometimes this might not work in illustrator like just to show you like if i click on this uh, you know like ellipse tool and while clicking on alt shift i'm just dragging us you know like ellipse just like that and I'm just giving a color like pink okay so now if I just want a guide okay on the top of this object so what I will do I will go to this paint tool or maybe this line tool line segment tool so I'm doing this with paint tool so I'm going to paint tool and when I'm trying to do this I'm seeing that nothing is happening like I'm not able to see any guide or any reference uh, to show which will guide me like what is the center point of this particular object and what is the intersection point and uh, what are the angles or something like that so because my smart guide is actually off so I'm not able to see that so how to turn it on so to turn it on if you press ctrl u now you can see this is a uh, like uh, highlighted thing or highlighted guide which is actually uh, showing where is your anchor point and showing you the center point of this particular object even if you come to the uh, center it is it is showing this is the center point show you the intersect point and also show you the path along with that okay so this is called smart guide and if you uh, I have told you the shortcut keys and if you can do this just go to view and go to smart guys most of the times this smart guy can be turned off so if it is turned off then you will you will not be able to do the snap to object thing so to do that either press ctrl u or go to view and turn on this and check the smart guides and there you go you will be able to do this in a minute another thing is like you can also change the settings of this smart guys so to do that you have to go to edit preferences and general so here you will find at the left side you will find the smart guide option and you will go to the smart guide and here you will uh, find these options where you can change it so here if you want uh, some other colors for your smart guide so you can change it from here if you want this construction guides to be some other angle or any custom angle you can also change that and you can also change the snapping tolerance here but that doesn't matter i mean uh, it doesn't matter much so uh, four will be fine to do so i'm hitting okay and if now if you want to do something like uh, you want a guideline just in the middle as you can see that it is already showing the center point and the guide so it's very easier for you to do this if you uh, try to you know uh, draw a guide or something so i will click on shift and i will easily draw a guide and then if i click on the right click and make guide so yeah here is my guide so along with that you can make it like this also like from here and from here 
so yeah my guides and then now you can see like now this i can easily do with snap to object so that's it for today guys i hope you have liked and learned something from this video and if you have enjoyed this video please give your positive comment in the comment section and also let us know about how you feel about this particular tutorial and if you have any better suggestion for snap to object on illustrator you also can suggest me that so be happy be awesome be positive and be unique so i will see you in the next video until then 